Hello people, this is our Cobra and this is Let's Play The Witcher Free Blind. Well last time we defeated some uh, drug dealing knights. Uh, I had a plan for what I wanted to do but I also couldn't help but notice that um, this popped up down here. Um, not sure when we'll deal with that. Soonish I guess. But for now we'll head this direction to deal with the whole room right thing and learn about that. And on the way there's a couple of bunch of interests that I feel like we might as well, you know, check out. Give me up. Also, hopefully, that place has a smith. Because, let me tell you, that weapon of mine's getting pretty banged up. Size town. So yeah. Well, there's a little bit of spot of interest on the map that I want to check out first. In the field? Well, oh, that is so not ideal for the poor people who would need to work here. surface here. Dig their way out. Well, not anymore. We're closing this one. There we go. I also believe we're pretty close to what I was actually looking for. Yes, like this right over there. It's a um, well, what the bloody hell is it actually? Oh, it's an abandoned site. Well, I suppose it must be abandoned because of the monster infestation. So let's clean it pro bono. surface here. Dig their way out. Ah! That seemed to do the trick. Rejoice, people! You can start working your fields again!
Feels good, man. So, would any fine upstanding gentleman happen to be a smith any sort, or...? No? Well. Good work is its own reward. Anyway, so I'll go circle through town, visit up here, then go down. See if I can find a smith on the way. Come on, Roach. Oh, is it up here they're hanging out? No trade, I think of that. Oh well. Still, they can now work their fields again. Come on. Seems like there's one here. Oh well. Be our mystery. If I remember the map correctly. No, no, that's a river, not a <laughs> not a road. Let's go. Okay, we're doing a little bit of off-roading. Following the stream here. Hey, have you guys seen anything interesting? Troll day to die! <laughs> Get him from the left foot! Oh, it's more of you guys. You guys know this, but it's actually starting to annoy me a bit, so uh Oh! 
Great side of his shenanigans. Gold room ring. One of the flaming rose sword. So Peter's law. That makes three days we've been stationed here in dead white wood. Tis a gravely important mission. That's what the commander told us. We only send the best of the best to the dead white wood. Those were his words. I'm damn proud. Strange enough, there ain't many trees around and not a corpse to be seen. Maybe the master's permission was out of date and the peasants have felled the whole wood. Thomas says because we went the wrong way, but he can't read no right, so I'm not about to trust him. I'm going out to scout around a bit myself for dinner today. I want to draw a map of these lands, because the commander didn't give us one. When I get back to the main headquarters, I'll write up everything all nice and proper. Peter Nay here. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I didn't attack to deal with the largest blow to these guys uh, with this one. Oh well. Still. Not so fast, Roach. Actually, I would appreciate it if you could go a little bit fast. I oh, know it's okay, just water. Hidden treasure, you say? Diary of Father Glader. Journal's covered in blood, heavily damaged. One last page can be made up. My wanderings from the fire's glory next took me to a priest of Brunwick, the village curled around the lake. And lo and behold, what did the most holy flames illuminate for me there? A hive of hardened heathens, too lost in sin to lift a cursed finger to care for the half of their eternal fire. Fill the divine wrath asked, Why should chapel such a sorry state? Why should cemetery all covered in weeds? Their response? Ghosts. Curses fallen upon hallowed ground. They blame it on the elder man's wife, says she went mad from riches and illegitimate fragment. They were since of a tragic chapel's laden ruins, where no one dared to go near. So the task falls on me to guide me through the lost sheep back on the righteous path and away from the rubbish they believe. I tend to enter the chapel alone, I'm only with a torch of the eternal fires along my path and see just what lurks with it. Well, how did that go for you, eh? a way in. silly. Perhaps this is not the right way in. Perhaps there's an entrance in the building itself I could use. Like that.
Busting makes me feel good. There we go. Well, that's actually a skills in like there. Just doing a quick check here to see if there's really no way in, because it was ported up from the other side, yeah. Okay. Well, we can't get the direct way in. Those roofs are simply just too powerful for my magic and sword. Fortunately, his key will do the job. Use a little spirit oil for this one. I've not left, not a blooming thing. All I can do now is pass on my family's tale of horror and woe and pass on myself as soon as I've written it all up on this letter. It seems a faded dream now, but there were a time when we were happy. My beautiful wife, Ernest, and myself we were married in high style with a fitting feast. Then a year later, our dear Milk Burka was born. But praised for the Ween's beauty, it says she was a spitting image of her mom. Let's just get all cross when we're talking about it, but I paid no heed at the time. Soon enough, a family grew. First Matilda, then Ethel came into the world, both fair as angels. But Ernest, I'll never forget that you should say it there. Coming along, she's in the head while the girls cried, cried. I said to her, Love, I reckon the last is hungry. That's when she slashed out on me for the first time. Said they had no right to be hungry. They stole her beauty and you, if there should be more than enough to feed on. I should have known it then. That I should have guessed madness had burrowed into my love's head, and every compliment paid to my last has been made to support her ever deeper. Year by year, the young one grew taller and more lovely. By the time, not so kind to the old. And unless it wasn't spared well, the cr its cruelty, when it took her skin spring in the sheen of you. When I was walking by the stunning moon, we lit all the world in an eerie glow. I looked around the hut and saw it was empty. I ran out the door and followed a set of bare footprints leading to a cemetery by the chapel. Seeing that, my heart jumped up my throat. I found Morfrey lying around the fountain, where I had not been their father and never would recognize them. Deep gashes mutilated their fair faces. Strips of skin, hunks of flesh were strewn all about. As I stood behind the butchery, I had the feeling someone was watching me, and I was mistaken. Ernesta stood there on a stool by a lone tree. She had a rope dragged around her neck like some demonic necklace. They took it from me, all of it, all I had, all I cherished, she said. Then she jumped. She's dead. My Ernesta, my three daughters, dead as well. I soon joined them. I take all I have and I gave it to the gods. Perhaps they'll forgive me and my beloved Ernesta. Oh, jeez. That's a sad tale.
That explains the bodies. But yeah, when she starts saying shit like that about the kids, you need to be better. Uh, you, you need to pay attention. Cause that's Simon. Something's wrong. Did she get an entry or anything like that? Since she had a name? No, no, that's really only with your honey. Still feel like Jeffrey. Anyway, um. Yeah, this, this was what we were all on our way to be doing. When this little adventure popped up on our way. Ah, a new marker. Stranger, greetings. Might you be interested in the moment's chat? I guess. I'm What is noise? You're a long way from Ophir. A long way, and with dangerous fraud. But in our homeland, they say, in a risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown, and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. That fair. So... Where are you from? Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered and your legs fail you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. This is often A land the case. of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate, for one among them is he, a runewright. I'll make it a point to talk to him. Thanks. Anyway, I found this. I think you may know something about it. Found this diagram. Think the markings might be Ophiri. Can't decipher them. Willing to help? This writing I recognize. We arrived in this land to immediate trouble. Local men. Frankly, rogues. Attacked we were. These are good instructions to forge fantastic gears fit for a king. To the ruler here I was to present them. But assist me. Retrieve the entire set, and I shall draft duplicates marked in the tongue of your craftsmen. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll help, I'll help. Sounds like a fair deal. Think I can probably find those diagrams for you. These bandits, they knights seemed. a blow even harder. Where did it happen, this attack? At the crossroads. A sawmill near to it. And the ruins of a residence to the north, I believe. See what I can do. Farewell. Uh, anyway, did you, um... Did you have a quest for me? It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Yeah, you had actually something to bring up with me. Something about horses, I guess, from that. Quite the mount you've got. <laughs> ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride. And not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Would you mind racing me? Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. It's been a while since I've been in a race. Gotta admit.
Get it up. Be swift. I would see you at full speed. Oh, but I'm swift too. Damn barrels! Aha! Be swift! I would see you at full speed! Oi! Hey! I'm gonna die! I thought you all just get off my back. Roger! Oh, there are no more fucking barrels. Don't! Ha! You will be coming, so prepare to get a little bit for a last purpose to get speed. Let me give the leaves out of my mouth. A fiery mares may be swift as the wind, not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Well, thank you. Like your new gear, roach? <laughs> Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe. And from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew. And she let them saddle her. Warriors they became and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. Sir, did you give me a saddle that was actually better than the one I had? That'd be impressive. <laughs> anyway, thanks. It's been real fun. I'll be back Take here with those uh, diagrams. Well, and in the world glory, its never ending creation be praised. Farewell. Probably also find a salesman soon. Something here pretty loaded. Let's see. Wow. Ophiri stock saddle. Horse can... Yep. It may be a stock saddle, but it's better than what we got. Not by much, but by something. Anyway, I was here to talk to the. Uh... Let's see. It was, it was you. Greetings. Greetings, and praise the world in its never-ending creation. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Aha! <laughs> but my tongue now has soured. While you for trade have come. Sadly, I can forge for you nothing. My belongings, tools inclusive, all lost. That was something like that I heard from the guy side, yeah. So what can you tell me about your trade? Your craftsman, or mage. Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Gematria. Runecraft? Familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make, then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications has my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than runestone set haphazardly. Oh, that's interesting because I've been pretty haphazard about it. Such words too can of glyphs be made 
and set in armor. Okay, well, I'm willing to help you. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems. Even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design they were, specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. I can see this is going to be uh, difficult then. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? Could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest glyph. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this will be a good investment. Five thousand, I should be able to afford that. Got some coin on me. Is enough? Uh, start it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm. See what I can do. Jade. Hmm. Is this a windmill? Well, 5,000 is an expense, but um, there's certainly nothing I couldn't handle. Where will that take us? Right around the corner, apparently. Yeah, that was my little finish the noise. I need a pickaxe. I need to go mining, but where do I need to go mining? <laughs> uh, some distance away. Well, if I go to Bowdown, Bowdon, then I can like go down here, up here, and then follow the trail and see what all that is. That's great. But in that case, I really Apparently, must go. Likely to find some small jade deposits northeast of Novigrad. Ought to try my luck there. Yes. Whatever the case, I need my equipment fixed. And I'll just jump back to Novigrad for that. Ah, blacksmith. Right up from here. Should be able to do it. And I can also hopefully sell some things. Inventory is getting bloated. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. That's still on fire. I found someone else to put up there. There must be order. How'd you discover it was a six of horror? That's what we should fucking bitch at. I mean, I'd like to see you fucking try. Because the last couple times you guys tried it didn't work out, and... Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings. What do you have on offer? Let's see, is there anything here that I really need to dismantle? It doesn't even look like it. No, not really. Maybe armor? The radio only is In that case, I really just need to sell you all this junk. Oh, the is there. I made quite the investment recently. Oh, 
Cool. Five percent durability. Man, my everything is to repair, really. There. Now we can go back to me selling all this stuff. Wow. You have money. Uh, perhaps, perhaps you can craft something for me. That will give you some money back. Let's say I'm 36. Is there anything rank uh, rank 36? Why is it arranged so randomly? Is it, it's, why is it arranged alphabetically when they have level requirements? Don't get that. 37, that's next. So 36. That's what I think. So. Uh, no, so a 35. Would this be better than what I got? Ah, it says better over there. Maybe I already have fun. Hmm. Nothing else more you can do for me, I'm afraid. So long. But uh, thanks anyway. Maybe. Shocky. Sick. Sick. Maybe they'll be able to assist. Open up. Mm -hmm. What are you offering? I hope it's money, because, um... Seriously? I guess I can at the very least get rid of the... XX Saddles. Some more of this junk. He doesn't have a lot of money. Thank you. See you. Hope you can sell those skulls I just sold you. I'll have to do. I'll have to find ah. a different merchant at some point and sell more of this stuff. Still, it's definitely worth it that I keep selling, especially if that guy's gonna require more money in the future. I mean, 5,000 is not to sneeze at, and. I mean. That was a solid investment, not gonna lie. But I think Gerald is right, it is gonna be worth it. No other way I need to teleport. Right, okay, so we're heading over to Bow Down. And then we'll get the jade and explore everything weird in the region while we're at it.
abandoned site filled with ghosts. This place is really haunted. Oh, he sees me. I also took, a, took damage there. Hey, welcome back to your haunted marsh. Do any of you a merchant? Do any of you have money? That the um the minimap the minimap's kinda bought, I think? Yep. Where the hell did I end up? Okay, just seconds ago, that's where this place was like a dark swampy area, and now it's just... Clear. It's not very beautiful with a ghost causing that effect. Grand shut and shut, holding tight to her hat. I'm just gonna take the ghost's um, possessions, if you don't mind. Well, that's all... Not me, kiddies. <laughs> well, that always looks much nicer. Picked a pack of pickle. What? Um, do you sell stuff? Got anything interesting? Check something on the alchemy because there's a couple of things that keeps popping up. Let's see. Oh. Let me just rest a moment. It's been a lot of work. Wait. Then that should have ripped. He would leave. I need more cherry cordial if nothing else. You weren't. Whatever. I'm not gonna ask. Hey, I've got seeds. Green mold. Let's see, screen mold, do you have them? Got anything interesting? I'll take your entire stock. You wouldn't have to have some cherry cordial, would you? Acceptable. Anyway, thanks for the money. <laughs> Farewell. Anyway, 
all that matters, is it? I'm heading towards the right one, am I not? The one that's closest? Yeah, I am. Oh, Roach is up there. Winds howling. And now Roach is here. Come on, Roach! Let's go find us some jade! needed to learn more by killing people. See, what I'd be so lucky that the hidden treasure is up here. The hidden treasure is in there. Mate, if you're reading this letter, it means you're a free man. New dragon, dragon ball could never break you. I feel damn bad if it was you they fingered back then. Fate's a bitch at times, ain't you? But you're a made man now. I had your part of the loot in that cave they wouldn't let us play in when we were young. I was full of the massive spiders then, but not a sign of the critters now. Fans claim they migrate elsewhere, not enough to eat here, so they won't be coming back anytime soon. So it's safe, for, but, for the bad, uh, but the bad memories do a great job keeping off nosy hazies, being the ideal hiding spot for loot. The chest is buried in the second part of the cave. Go in and you'll be a rich man and can eat, drink, and drink and wench till the end of your days. See you later, you know where. Or we'll bathe in wine and live in luxury. It seems like they came back. Damn, you're ugly. We don't have a ton of friends backing you up, eh? Ah. Give me a few seconds and then you'll pay for that.
Come on! Safe for, for everyone else. I mean, it's not exactly, you know. A king's ransom, but it is a nice amount. Certainly goes towards the expenses I know without having to pay if I have to keep financing that room right business. We'll see. Meanwhile, I was looking for some of that Jade. Jade. Now to extract some. Of course, the jade will be in a giant spider's nest. Well, awesome. I still want to check out the uh, the, the sites in the area. Let's see. Uh, as planned. Faster. Well, it seems like there's a little fuel in there. some water on that. Let's see what was left behind. A hunter. We had another fucking saddle. Oh, I replaced the water I used. And I found a new transport point. So that's something. I still want to know what the rest is all about. Like, Roach. Roach. Slow Roach. now. Whoa. Roach, why did you manifest inside that hide? Was it where you're trying to hide from me? <laughs> Comedy. It just comes so easy to me. And what do we have here? Look at this! And jeez, today's episode is a regular Nega Slaughter Fest. Why do you guys hate people so much, by the way?
snickers surface here, dig their way out. <laughs> Got a lot of lead, didn't we? Boy, you must, you must feel silly. Okay, you two stop comboing off each other. Yeah, hiding up there in the air is not gonna save you. Let's see here, I believe there was one more spot. Yep. One more spot. Move it! If it came with a marker, that would be convenient. Uh, if not, I still got one pretty close by, so you know. This is good. This is all good. Rise, brothers! Oh, hey! The serpent. Hey! Ah. Oh, almost I like killed all of you! Dude, you're not gonna Why did you come charge in like that? Now I'm just gonna kill you. We shall cook you, Vermin. Spells! Spells! Yes, those are indeed spells. I'm glad you're paying attention. Okay, this uneven ground bullshit has got to stop. Let's end this. And that would be your leg. That's your leg that just went there. Quartermasters report from the 25th of the current month. The hunting party went into a nearby woods today, gained their plenty, killed 12 does, 8 stacks, 32 hares, and 7 bulls. The meal will be clean, so i set to drown the sun. I will take to the camp by sweat sarcasm. Follow up, we'll beat the bush, shoot some fowl, hunt some spider pheasants, wild dog, and partridge in the area. Plenty of everything ready, so hunger shan't be a problem this winter. Important, some local hunter wanted to camp to himself a scammer man. So there's a fair height top while he promised to return with an hour. So this dust will bind him in the feathers and burn his heels, because there's something damn fishy about him. Lieutenant von Hurst. Well, that's just fucking rude. So... I mean... Between destroying their main draw corporation, destroying several of their camps, outpost, raiding posts, and now this hunter's camp is supposed to secure them food for winter, I'm starting to wonder how well these guys are gonna fare, even if there are more of them hiding out there. I thought for certain that I actually, you know, defeated them all, but, uh, nope, still more of them. Not so fast. Still, with these operations shut down, and most just because I show up and they immediately want to kill me, so you know. Can you blame anyone but them, them on this? This is. yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing too well at this rate. Okay, so uh, let's get back with that jade. Also helped us clear out a lot of question marks. But uh, we got them some time ago. Yeah, you're a merchant. Maybe I'll can get you to pass. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Thank you. Likewise. Uh, your wares? What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? You wouldn't happen to have any of the alcohol that I need, do you? No. You have this, though. You do charge a price for it. Jeez. Well, that's the price you ch uh, charge. That's the price I'll pay. Hmm. This stuff's not better than what I have. Okay. Oh, you seem quite willing to take my junk, so the junk you shall have. Well, me buying that expensive thing off you probably also helps. There's nothing here that is. Wait, really? Well, it's heavy armor. Superior. <laughs> yeah, your dreams. Yeah, I'll keep that rock as one of those. Here's all the drugs I found. Oh, and a bear hide. And a muck. And this... Here, yeah, take this painting. I kept it around for so long, I'm just like, I don't even know why anymore. Yeah. Thank you. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory. Its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Huh. My dad is a witch hunter. He's up here. Made good use of my coin by the look of things. The return to my craft. Know you not the pleasure it brings. I thank you. Don't mention it. How's the work going? Several lesser runes I forged already. Practice, you see. <laughs> Yet I sadden in thinking the tools and ingredients I possess are not fit to create better. Well, I got found lucky. Found you some jade. Here. Thank you, I do. If you to gaze wish at my handiwork, to do so I invite you. Well, thank you. The rural can enhance your amp fitting them with rune works and glyph works. Please tell them the new pump tricks. Northern realms. Like it here so far? Oh yes. Never have I seen woodland so expansive or skies with such colors brushed. Nordlings, however, peculiar they are. Tight-lipped closed within, mm. and bandits the high roads riddle, but on the horrid conflict this I blame. Yeah, well, I've done my part to uh, kill that conflict. 
Let's see what this whole room thing is. Craft something for me, would you? Room words and cliff words. You can enchant items to fit them with room words or cliff words. We can use some of the sands to go to cliffs. And then how many rooms and cliffs in this current kind of favor will be destroyed. Okay. Answer can be paid with a room word or cliff words. And this enchanted appear here. All items possessing for each other can be enchanted. So this room will glitch for a few minutes at a time. So the room will use to enhance weapons will glitch for two circuits. Master. Now various levels. A room can enhance you know, which one wants to reach a level because of that. Or higher than the level of the enchantment he is to cast. Then the this can be added, removed, and filled with. Well, that's all very cool. Once I get a weapon that uh, has three slots again, I definitely uh, take a look at that. Wouldn't mind a glance at what you got. Anyway, do we, did I have anything else I need to sell? No, no. Oh, he definitely has some money for it. If that's the case. I think I actually have the money for this. That's a lot of money, though. But uh, sure. Brought you more coin. Put it towards better equipment. Thanks in the thousands. Too kind you are to me, truly. Your work's worth the coin. Hard at work. Good to see. Ah, yes. Commissioned have I tools. A fitting set from Novigrad crafters. Many arms and legs they charged. But renew my work in earnest, I now can. That was also basically most of my money. New rooms, glyphs, and diagrams created I have. An eye you should cast. Find one to your liking, perchance. I need something you can actually go on first, but thanks for the offer. So, nothing holding you back now. From making master-crafted runes, you mean? Much more coin I will need to do so, sadly. <laughs> uh, I don't have that kind of Thanks. money. Thanks. So long. Let's see what I'll need. I'll need another 10,000. So well, it's a goal to aspire to. Next time we shall go south and talk to the herbalists and so on. But for now, this has been Eric Cooper and this has been Let's Play The Witcher Free Blind. See you all around.